Hi there boys and girls. I'm in my backyard today and today I'm on my patio and if you look in the background you can see my tree house that I read you stories from sometimes. So it's way back there and you can also see that my trees and my backyard still have lots of leaves and believe it or not lots have already fallen too. Mr. Bashan has been raking and raking the past couple of weeks um, and there's still a lot more left to go it looks like well today I put on my big sweater so put on your sweater or your jacket when you go outside but it really is beautiful so I hope you have some time out I've got another Thanksgiving book to read for you today this one is called Pete the cat the first Thanksgiving and it's by Kimberly and James Dean and if you look at this picture, let's see if you can recognize anything that is in here. First off, Pete the Cat. You might have seen him on some other books. I have some other Pete the Cat books too. I like him a lot. What else do you see that you know? Corn. He's got corn. There's a turkey. What's the name of this ship? Do you remember the name of that big ship? That's right, it's the Mayflower. That's the ship the Pilgrims rode over on on the first Thanksgiving. And in this picture, Pete is wearing a Pilgrim hat. Alrighty, let's see how this one goes. Pete was nervous about being a Pilgrim in his class's Thanksgiving play, the first Thanksgiving. Just do your best, his friend Callie said. He says, Happy Thanksgiving. Pete said he would try. He was ready. His mom had even made him a pilgrim hat, which was really cool. Pete took his place at the front of the giant ship that his class had made out of cardboard. Pete was a pilgrim on the Mayflower. So that's the way they made their ship. You might have made one at your house too. Oh, and sails. In 1620, a group of pilgrims decided to leave England for the new world to build a new life. It was a long, long trip on a big, big ship all the pilgrims sang. The sea was rough and very dangerous and many pilgrims got very sick. The dream of a new start in a new world made the hard trip all worth it. For more than two months, the Pilgrims sailed. So in September, on September 6th, it was a Saturday, they set sail. Now, when we first started doing our calendar times on our computers, it was September. So they sailed for September, October, all the way to November. So like this whole time we've been doing calendar time and story time on our computer, this whole time they were on a boat. That is a long time, isn't it? After 65 days on the ship, the new world finally came into view. Land ho! Pete cried and all the pilgrims did a happy dance. The pilgrims arrived in the New World at Plymouth Rock in what is now Massachusetts. Everyone had many chores to do, like growing food, finding water, and building shelters. Look, it shows how they started building the house and then what it looked like when they were done. The first winter in the new world was long and hard. You can see they must have a fire in their fireplace because there's smoke coming out of the chimney. 
In the spring, the pilgrims had to decide whether to give up and go back to England or to keep trying. The pilgrims had heard about the Native Americans and many worried that they would not be friendly. Pete had never met a cat he didn't like, so he thought they would be kind. So some of the Native Americans wore feathers on their hats. They looked like this. Oh look, and Pete was right, they were friendly. So the Native American had some corn and he shared it with Pete. Oh, Pete was right. He made a new friend in Squanto. Squanto and the other Native Americans showed the pilgrims how to grow crops like corn, beans, and squash. Oh, by summer, the pilgrims had learned how to farm on the new land. So in the spring, there were tiny sprouts See the tiny sprouts in the spring? And then by summer, oh, big squash, big corn. By the fall harvest, the pilgrims had plenty of food. To thank Squanto and the other Native Americans, the pilgrims invited them to share the harvest. This celebration became known as the first Thanksgiving. Pete was relieved when the play was over. He had remembered all his lines. Wow, I never thought about how hard it was back then, said Pete. You did great, Callie said. Later, at Thanksgiving dinner with his family, Pete said, let's all go around the table and say something we are thankful for. I'm thankful for my family, said Pete's mom. I'm thankful for my skateboard, said Bob. I'm thankful for the brave pilgrims that started this new free world, said Pete. And what are you thankful for? I know we thought about that a little bit last week, things we were thankful for. I have a whole list of things I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for my family, for my mom and my dad and my brother and my husband and my children. I'm thankful for my home and my yard and the beautiful outdoors. Thankful for my food. There's lots of things I'm thankful for. So you can be thinking about things you're thankful for too. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you get some time outside and some time to play and have fun. And I will look forward to seeing you back on Tuesday for our calendar time. Bye-bye.